Last episode we won our first trophy by beating Wolves 4-3 on penalties and in this episode we have a big task in hand as we face Leipzig at home and they have a 3-1 lead and we need to score two goals to make it to the quarter final so it's going to be a big episode and also we'll be trying to get through the month of March and yeah if you guys are enjoying it drop a like subscribe and let's get started with the episode first game versus reading in the fa cup round three i think so which will be quick saving with the second team here uh, let's see can we get a win and go to the next one yes we can it went to extra time but sa got us a 120 minute winner and it sends us to the round four of the fa cup next game is versus chelsea in the premier league and they stand fifth <laughs> as it stands so they will want to win and make a make themselves count for the top four we are going with the strongest team possible here they have got a very ba a strong back line there so let's see can we take all three points versus chelsea here his team of one up breaks through the defense with his pace and a very good save by david de Gea. i mean this pass was good from sancho to anthony marshall first time shot but again the goalkeepers were on their toes and a good save by Mendy here. I mean, the shot was a bit, I mean, if it could have been a bit wider, I think so, it might have been a goal. And from that corner, Barella went for the shot, but again, Mendy made a brilliant save. I mean, this shot was very good. It was low and perfect in that bottom corner, but Mendy was not letting that happen. Uh, uh, the goal will go in and this goal, from Timo Werner was one of the weirdest goals I would say I've ever saw uh, did see I mean uh, it's a good cross from Reese James and it was the German who scored and ran to Thomas Tuchel to celebrate the goal and this was again a very good long pass of to Pulisic and Reese James goes for the goal but this time David uh, saved us there and we had some hopes of uh, taking a draw from this game but Chelsea was just so dominant they were having chance left right and center I also won a uh, bot on Van der Beek sorry and Rashford I went for the finesse shot and I mean as it happens every time it happened this time also went over the bar and we wasted the chance and with that the game was over the narrow 1-0 victory for Chelsea they were the most dominant side I would say and yeah but think the main focus in this episode is for the Champions League tie versus Leipzig next game versus Wolves in the round six the last match we played was round five not round four I will be quick simming this one with the second team because two days after we have that important match versus Leipzig and there we go we have lost this match to Wolves 2-0 and it means we go out of the FA Cup this is the match we'll be waiting to play the second leg of the round of 16 of the champions league versus leipzig i've made two changes uh, two big changes uh, van der Beek comes in and neves comes in i think so they were very good when we bought them last time in the first leg so they both will be given the chances and uh, there we go we've not won a single game in this episode and if we win this it will be a big one so let's go and win this game and go to the next round of the Champions League. Here goes Inaki Williams, finds Murail. Back to Inaki Williams, finds the long pass to Howie Barnes. Barnes get, goes back for Murail. Good save by David De Gea on the near post. And we get the ball away. And then it was back to uh, here. In the first half, they had some good chances. But here it was good ball, winning by Nevis and Van der Beek. And Van der Beek. Did drive the ball forward because Rashford was not there and I saw Anthony Marshall's run I crossed it in and Anthony Marshall scored on the volley given us a lifeline I would say to go to the next round watch a volley by the Frenchman the Dutchman making the difference in Don Van der Beek and uh, Neves and Van der Beek played a huge part in this goal and that shows you why we play uh, we played him we we played them in this match I would say and a good goal by Anthony Marshall on the volley pass the goalkeeper no chance that he could save that and then again we were on the front foot since that goal again we found in a cross but this time it was well defended by that Leipzig defense and uh, from uh, the cr from that cross Jaden Sancho finding bit of space goes for the long shot and it was inches wide of being a spectacular goal in the Champions League round of 16 I mean 
the goalkeeper could not have got uh, near it but uh, the it was wide i would say simple as that and um, here carlos with comes up with a good challenge neves to fernandes fernandes to anthony marshall marshall uh, gets past the goalkeeper and scores a second goal that means has it stands we go to the next round that goal in germany by bruno fernandes has given us a lifeline and we are going through has it stands uh, two goal advantage before the half time gives us a bit of hope not hope a bit of uh, advantage i would say and uh, there we go we have to keep this up and then the second half van de beek somehow kept the ball here to martial fernandes fernandes finds anthony martial and anthony martial goes for the shot and scores past peter glasic what a goal i mean on the near post the power on the shot the direction of the shot was absolutely superb and he gets his hat trick and it's 4-3 on aggregate the goal oh my oh my days what a goal what a goal i would say pass peter glasic we are going through has it sanchez we just need to defend it well but if they score a goal now this game is going into extra time and obviously we should not let that happen and it was tembele on this uh, on the wing but well defended by shaw but i think it was a foul so they got a free kick which they, which in helped them a lot but this one this uh, this was a dangerous attack dani on mogos for the long shot but a good save by the fellow spaniard in david de gea obviously so i mean it was just 10 minutes that we had to hold on and we were going through this was surprisingly a very very good pass by olmo to luis muriel and i thought for a moment that this went in but uh, uh, i don't know how he missed it but there there we go i thought it went in and with that the game was over 4-3 on aggregate we go to the next round because of anthony marshall's hat trick i mean van de beek and never played a huge part in this game and they made a difference and so did this man and we are going to the next round of the champions league so we quick sim this game versus fulham and we got to 2-1 victory with van bissaka and bruno fernandes scoring for us Well, the next game versus Wolves at the Molineux. We played them in the last episode at Wembley and we did dramatically win it. This time around it's in the Premier League. It is still uh, for, for us a very important game for us to make top four. So, yeah, there we go with the strongest team possible Pogba and Barella back into the team and Madison playing at center back for them makes no sense whatsoever. But here we are. with the strongest team possible after that dramatic win versus leipzig let's make it count and let's take one more win here versus wolves yes pogba finds rashford one on one with the keeper can he score this one and put a strike no he cannot and he drives his shot by why why am i even surprised that we have not scored those type of goals and then after that chance to spread to neto on that left hand side the portuguese put in a cross i mean that would have to put his fingertips and uh, otherwise that might have been a goal i mean what's a goal that might have been and here luis den donker found uh, cruton who scored the bicycle kick in that cup final and but that would have made a good save uh, and once more it was cruton uh, cruton hopefully i'm taking his name right and den donker scored here past david de gea i mean just before the half time whistle we conceded a goal and gave them the lead going into that first half so i mean we had to come back strong in the second if we wanted to win and we did exactly that here with anthony marshall i found some space so i took uh, run it with anthony marshall but what's a save that was from rui patricio i don't think so he really intended to make that save it was just a fluke i would say that it hit the thighs and yeah he saved it but here we So uh, sent Anthony Marshall through and this time he scored past Patricio and directly took the ball and uh, obviously he knew that how important this game was for us to to win and the Frenchman is in form I mean a hat trick versus Leipzig a goal here and uh, and Fernandez once more found Martial M Martial with a cool calm composed finish past Rui Patricio and in in minutes we were in the lead. and it is through the french when he scored five goals in this episode that's mad but uh, i mean he's in brilliant form since this leipzig game since that leipzig game and there we go patricio not happy but we are surely happy as we take all three points in west midlands uh, because of Ma 
Marcel he might have got his hat trick but did not get in this game at least and with that 3 points secured versus Wolves at the Molineux. Well we made a brilliant comeback versus Leipzig 4-3 on aggregate and 3-0 on the at Old Trafford obviously. Anthony Marcel got a hat trick I mean those 3 goals were absolutely brilliant. And let's find out who we face in the quarterfinals. Both the legs will be in the next episode. So first of all, let's see which team got through the round of 16. So it was Manchester City, Barcelona, Hertha Berlin, Spurs, Chelsea, Paris and Benfica. So they're quite simple teams in there like Benfica and Hertha Berlin. But let's see who we face in the quarterfinals. And it is going to be... A uh, Manchester City, I mean a uh, Manchester Derby in the quarterfinals is going to be an interesting quarterfinal, I would say tough quarterfinal. Spurs and PSG and Chelsea, Barcelona and Benfica hurt the Berlin are the rest of the draws, so quite interesting draws as well. And in the Premier League, let's see how things are going. We stand fourth as it stands, things are looking pretty good for us, I would say, at least for top four. In the FA Cup, we got knocked out by Fools. In the round six, we could have made a semi-final, but uh, we played the second team because for the we gave the importance to the Leipzig game. So obviously, we lost that match. And in the next episode, we'll be playing Manchester City, both the legs. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting episode. Thank you for watching. If you guys are enjoying it, this series, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.